Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Chris here again, and uh, we are doing a, a couple reviews here, back-to-back, uh, -back, uh, and maybe another one back-to-back. -back, um, I really want to get these cigars out for you, and I'm really excited because we are coming right down uh, to the last few to add to your humidors. Uh, so I'm really, really excited. I've done some uh, going through my humidors, finding something really interesting, um, but still saving some really good ones as well uh, for later giveaways, later reviews. And uh, to add, uh, I think I've got, I think I'm going to be doing another uh, something humidor-ish, um, probably, uh, for sure, probably another humidor here for you guys. Uh, for my thousand subscribers, but I'm going to be doing extra stuff as well. So uh, maybe some bottles, um, you know, some scotch, you know, maybe rum or whatever. Um, something really kind of cool for uh, for some more giveaways here for you. So uh, just kind of kind of looking at that, and um, um, so you don't want to you know throw out every all your best stuff and then uh, this is our leftover. So. Um, uh, but, uh, I mean, the stuff that I'm just looking at, at some of the, the, the humidors that I've got open here going through it, um, uh, there's a lot of really, really good stuff in there, and I'm really, 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 I cannot wait, uh, to share all this stuff with you. But, uh, today we are looking at the Asylum, uh, 1350, uh, and that's a Robusto. This is a nice cigar. I promised you guys that I would be doing this one, um, and I am. So, um, uh, this is a nice cigar. I actually had this one the other day. Um, uh, actually yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Um, um, I had a couple come over and, uh, uh, talking about their wedding and, uh, we enjoyed one of these together. So, um, it is really, really, really nice cigar. This one's been sitting in my humidor for about nine months now. So, um, uh, I like to sit them for about a year, but uh, um, this is the one that we really wanted to try, and I knew I was going to be doing a review for you, so I really kind of wanted to uh, to see what this one was all about, and uh, my groom really wanted to try this one, and he saw it, and he's like, oh, I really want to try that one, so I thought, all right, I'm not going to say no to my groom, and, um, and that's what we did, so uh, yeah, nice, nice cigar. Um, Oh, uh, it is uh, five inches and a uh, fifty ring gauge on it. The strength is medium. I found it. I found it. Yeah, medium is probably a good, a good um, description of it. Um, it's definitely not full, um, and it probably has mellowed out over the last few months sitting in my humidor. So it's. I would say it's more of a, a high mild. Uh, to a mid medium on on the on the profile, and you can see that it's a really nice Maduro wrapper on it, eh? And look how oily that is. It's a beautiful, beautiful cigar, really, really well constructed. Um, yeah, you're gonna like this one. So anyway, uh, that is that one there, uh, and it is right out of Nicaragua, um, and the wrapper, binder, and filler are Nicaraguan. So this cigar is a puro, and a puro. Uh, in case you don't know, and I'm sure everybody knows, you know, but to, if, you're, if you're new to cigars, uh, when they use the term Puro, that means that the the um, the wrapper, the binder, and the filler come from the same country. Um, and uh, uh, some people think that uh, uh, sometimes uh, Puros can be a little one-dimensional, um, but uh, that was a long time ago. You've got... Um, Guys like Rocky Patel and, and Jonathan Drews and A.G. Fernandez and, um, and guys like that. Um, uh, and, and, and the guy that, that made this, Christian Irona, um, th these are not one-dimensional cigars. These are amazing, amazing cigars. They put a lot, a lot of work, a lot of ideas, a lot of uh, flavor into this. And this is a really nice cigar. And it's really cool looking too. So when you're... When you're smoking it, people are going to go, what, what is that? That's a, that's a cool looking wrapper. And, uh, and it is a cool looking cigar too. So, um, yeah, so you're going to get like notes of, this is what I got yesterday. It was like really, uh, intense notes of coffee. It was sweet, uh, cocoa on it. Um, that really, really, um, 
dark chocolatey espresso beans. You know, you get like chocolate covered espresso beans. Uh, that's what it's got on there. And, and a, a little white pepper and spice as you're kind of making your way through the cigar. So uh, through the first, once you get to the first third uh, of the cigar, uh, right about here is where you're going to start getting that, that light spice and white pepper. And, and But it really blends well with those deep chocolate espresso bean um, coffee notes and that sweet cocoa, you know. So really, really, really a really good cigar. Uh, you're going to really enjoy this one. Um, and uh, I know I certainly did yesterday. And uh, thankfully I have one left. So... I was down to my last three, and I'm giving you guys two of my three. And I'm going to age the other one for, for a year now in my humidor. So, um, yeah, so I, I can't uh, can't wait for you guys to try these. And, and whoever wins these cigars, or anybody that, I, that I've been uh, sending cigars to, uh, once, once, you, uh, once you enjoy them, it would be really cool to hear what you guys think of it. Because, I mean, this is just, this is just what I'm getting out of it. That doesn't necessarily mean that what I am getting out of these cigars is, is right. That's just my, that's just what I taste, you know. Like when I'm tasting wine and scotch and rum and tequila, anything like that. Um, uh, you know, sometimes what, what I what I get out of it may be different than, you know, what my friends or, 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 or another, you know, somebody else or uh, another sommelier uh, may be getting out of it. And I'm definitely not a psalm, but I have quite a few Somalia friends. And, uh, and uh, I've, I've been uh, reading the books on, um, on, on becoming a wine Somalia. I don't know if I'll ever do it or not. Um, I've been into wine since I was like 18 years old. I've got a fairly decent wine cellar here at home. And, and same with a scotch and a whiskey cellar and, and rum. Um, so it's stuff that I really enjoy and I really like tasting those profiles and everything. So it's really kind of a cool kind of a cool little hobby of mine and um and it's fun hanging out with uh with psalms but it's also fun hanging out with uh with just um you know you know, just normal people like like you and i um because i'm certainly not a psalm by any stretch um but uh but just seeing what you know how you know sharing a cool experience uh with uh, with friends and and uh colleagues um uh, like over over a drink or or a cigar um, but, uh, as well as kind of hearing what they, what they think of it, you know, what they get out of it, because, you know, it's like, oh, I didn't taste that. And then you kind of go deeper into it and you're like, damn, you know, I didn't, that's hidden, but I could taste it now. And, and it's, I don't know if it's like, uh, when you, once you hear it, it's, it's when you start, um, picking up those notes, but, uh, but you can learn a lot from other, from other people just by listening uh, to them and understanding and, uh, and hearing what they have to say, you know, cause everybody's different, right? So um anyway let's get this guy in here oh and i forgot to mention as well this cigar this really good cigar uh got 94 points on at uh cigar aficionado so um this is not uh your average just cigar this is a, this is a good one and uh and the guys at efficient uh cigar aficionado thought the uh, thought as well um let's get this into the humidor so i'm going to take this off for now uh you don't get air sick i'll try to keep it as steady as possible but um uh let's just quickly go through these cigars here again um with what you got in case you're a first time viewer and seeing this for the first time um so uh yeah we got these cigars here this one's got an extra one in here you can see it's the ark of the covenant but i only had one and i gave it to you guys uh so we've got to find another one here that's comparable to that so i've kind of got a few that i've been going through my humidors uh, to see what would be uh, fairly comparable to that one. And I've got a couple ideas, and I'll leave that up to you of what we should put in there. But quickly looking at this, we've got the Alec Bradley Black Market Esteli Toprito. Uh, we've got the Rocky Patel A10 with the Corrosio and Maduro wrapper. We've got the Brickhouse Mighty Mighty Maduro. Uh, the La Perla uh, 1550, uh, 1515 uh, for 500 years of... Um, uh, premium uh, handmade cigars by A.G. Fernandez. Uh, the Drew Estate Isla de Sol Maduro. Um, the uh, CAO V660 Flathead. Um, this one here is the Cinco Vegas Gold. Uh, a Alec Bradley White Gold. Um, a Toro um, 
sorry, the uh, Buffalo Trace Robusto, a Alec Bradley uh, Corojo uh, Coil. Uh, this one here, all the way down, that is the Diesel Unlimited Disciple Lancero. This is a Knight's Templar Toro. Beautiful, beautiful cigar. And this one here, when you open it up, you'll be blown away by this one. Um, like I said, there was a last video, I sent this one to down to a fellow down in the States, and he honestly didn't believe how beautiful a cigar is. Um, and, and he was looking forward to smoking it, but now he's like, I don't know if I can smoke it. It's such a beautiful cigar. But this is the Ava Maria Reconquista. A really, really nice cigar. Uh, this guy here is the... Uh, Black Ops Berserker by Gurkha. And this one here is the Ava Maria Argentum. Really dark, oily um, Maduro on that one. Uh, let's see here. The next one here is the Man of War uh, Valkyrie. And then we've got the Camacho, uh, the CAO Camacho uh, Triple Maduro. Really cool looking uh, footband on that one as well. Get you to focus. There we go. Yeah, nice, nice. This is a really good cigar. You'll like that. Um, um, yeah, this is a, a really, really, really good cigar. Uh, and this is another very good cigar. I mean, these are all really good cigars. So this is the uh, the Avo Heritage in it. Uh, this is the uh, Cohiba Connecticut, another really nice cigar. I really like this guy. And uh, from our last video, uh, this is the Rocky Patel 1992 Vintage uh, Maduro Wrapper Box Press. Beautiful. Uh, and uh, the the wrapper on this is 10 years old, and the binder and filler are 7. So really nice age already on it. And this has been in my humidor for a while, so this is just perfect. And look at the look at how dark and oily that wrapper is. Beautiful, beautiful cigar. And uh, now we are putting in the uh, the Asylum thirteen um, fifty, uh, the Robusto. So that goes in that one, and this guy goes in this one here. So look at that, eh? We're what one, two, three, four cigars away from. I'm filling this bad boy up so um yeah so really uh, really looking forward to that cannot uh, cannot wait to get this out like it is i'm really excited i i cannot wait to do this for you um and uh we're gonna do something really really special uh for when i get to a thousand subscribers i honestly didn't think i was gonna get to uh 429 i think right now uh i thought maybe 10 in the first year um Maybe, maybe 10 if I was lucky. Because uh, I honestly didn't think anybody was going to watch this. Um, but I really, you guys are just surprising me like crazy. So I really appreciate it. And uh, to win any of these cigars that I'll be giving away, uh, and to win, uh, have a chance to win one of these uh, these humidors, all you got to do is like my videos and uh, subscribe to my channel. And that's it. Um, pretty easy. And uh, and when, like I said, once we get to 1,000 subscribers, there is going to be... It's going to be bananas. I'm going to be doing a lot of really cool stuff for you guys. So I uh, can't wait for that. And um, thank you so, so much again for watching these videos. It means so much to me. Um, and and uh, please like and subscribe. And have yourself a really, really, really great day. Uh, thanks a lot. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.